2011, you were defeated, but how did you use that that defeat to then train for the next four years to get into 2016? How did you use that as a motivator? Um, well, <laughs> you know, just draw on that memory um, quite often um, in order to fuel myself. Um, you know, uh, just, to be honest, Anything that I say will be quite cliche. You know, I had pictures up on my wall of what I where I wanted to go, kind of thing. Or I had pictures of the person that I lost against to kind of keep me energy going. Um, uh, things like that, where you know, I realised you know that in 2012, I felt I was a little bit. Um, I had spread myself too thin amongst a number of different activities that I was doing. Um, and you know, at that age, I was quite also quite young as well. Um, and you learn these things in hindsight. And I think I learned that um, you can't be good at everything um, and you can choose one, two things, maybe three at most that you really push yourself in. And um, especially when it gets to the Olympics, you've got to really narrow in and just focus on that one thing. Um, And if you don't, you're up against people around the world that are doing just one thing day in, day out with only one focus, complete tunnel vision on it. And, you know, gone are the days where you can fluke a win against these types of people. Very low percentage chance. And I think um, I think something that's something that's one of the main reasons as to why um, Australia hasn't been doing as good in sport generally as they were doing, for example, as 20 years ago, because we haven't really caught up with that mindset yet. 